The Columbia blacktail lives in western Washington, Oregon, and California right along the coast. Uh, it's rainforest country here, a lot like Sika blacktail, except for Columbia can have a lot bigger antlers. And when you go to hunt these deer, you've got to realize that they live in rainforest areas, so it's probably going to rain. And even in the wintertime during rut, when it's snowing in a lot of other places in the Midwest, it's raining on the coast. Shady Cove, Oregon. Finally getting in here. Just getting into town. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Supposed to meet Johnny Costello down here at the ice cream shop. He's a buck hunter from the area and kind of turned me on to uh, a great place to go black tailed deer hunt. Hey Johnny. Oh, how's it going man? Good to Good see, to see you. you. I know your face. <laughs> <laughs> Who do we got here? This is my fiance and hunting partner Hi. Lisa Coach. Nice, nice to meet you Lisa. Lisa. Oh. Most Columbia black tails are hunted spot and stalk on the ground but because I'm a television bow hunter and we're trying to capture the hunt on video. I opted for a tree stand hunt. By setting up in a tree stand, it locks us into one place, which makes it somewhat difficult. But on the other hand, we can see them coming at a distance and we can get a lot of steady video, which is what we call pre-roll. Having the deer coming in is very exciting for the television shows and that's what we're really looking for. And of course we're looking for a big one, so we're trying to hunt the areas that we feel are going to give us the best opportunity to get a big deer on video. Well, I've set up along the Rogue River in Oregon. Really a good place for hunting Columbia blacktail. In fact, in this area, a lot of the deer are migratory, believe it or not. They live on these mountain tops, and as the rut comes in, they move down off the mountain, these big bucks, and they start to look for does that live in the valleys. So we were hunting in the valley of the Rogue River in a tree stand in an area that was typically a, a historic crossing or travel way for these migrating bucks. It's an exciting hunt. It's almost like hunting caribou, where you might sit on a tree stand and not see a deer one day, the next day you see one, and the next day you see one you've never seen before. So you're seeing different animals all the time as they move through. I did my Columbia blacktail hunt in the rut, and that's a good time to go because you have multiple opportunities, hopefully, of bucks chasing does, and you get in a scenario where you may end up with a bigger Columbia blacktail than maybe you think's available. These deer are in mountain country, and so a lot of times these blacktails will be up in the high country, you know, during the, the summer, and uh, they'll be up away from the bugs, they'll be in the cooler temperatures, and a lot of the does will stay uh, not so high, you know, they don't go up there with the bucks. Mule deer especially are known for bachelor herds of deer, and a uh, blacktail is, a, you know, kind of a mule deer, so these bachelor herds of bucks will be up on the tops of these mountains during the summer and fall, early fall and then as the temperatures get cooler and as the, the snow level starts to drop on the mountains these deer start to migrate down and in that case you know you've got a really cool scenario because you'll have deer you'll have bucks that you've never seen before come onto the property and then leave and then new bucks come in so the migrating habits of the Columbia blacktail are you know really unique Again, as happens when you travel and hunt, it's the last day of the hunt. In the dark, we're trekking into our tree stand and, and pouring down rain and set up. And as it gets light, we spot movement. Big Columbia blacktail. It can be really exciting because coming out of the fog and in the early morning rain, uh, it, it's an exciting time.
As a television producer, I'm, I'm worried a lot about the light. And surprisingly, the buck's tack sharp and his big rack really shows up as he comes all the way over to the tree stand and offers me a 15-yard shot. I thought it might have been a little high, but it was a steep downward angle. The deer went about 150 yards, and, and he bailed off the side into a really steep ravine that went down to the river. Everything on me soaked. About a 20 yard shot, that buck was standing right here. There's my arrow right there. Look at this. Good penetration. Good blood all the way to the fletch. Look at here where he scuffed. Almost fell down here. Going this way. He looks big. <laughs> Oh man, yes. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Columbia blacktail. <laughs> they call him out here a four by four with eye guards. <laughs> I'd call him a 10 pointer. Look at the chocolate brown on those antlers. My very first Columbia Blacktail. <laughs> He's awesome. What an incredible hunt. <laughs> and it's an exciting hunt. And the guys in California, Oregon, and Washington kind of got a little secret going on out there because hunting Columbia Blacktails is a lot of fun. If you get the chance, do it.